in this video this one itself is the current latest Moodle version I will try to install on my window 11 so for that you have to download this one so let me click and download the latest staple one so it is always ad advisable to you that you always prefer download as stable one so let me click here on download zip file and it is downloading here uh, the size it is showing 81.7 mb uh, let's wait for a moment here so now it is downloaded www and here i will paste that in that uh, zip file here and if i open this one let me unzip this one first Extract all. Let me rename this, make it a bit shorter. Let's make it uh, M42. Then inside M42, I have model. Okay. So I will create, open this one inside URL on localhost slash this. If you hit this URL, it will be asking for the installation. You can choose the language here. So click next. And now it will be asking you for the details. But if you want, you can also set up the details from here. You will find config.php config dinst by default. Just copy this one and make another copy. And rename this to config.php and open this one inside an editor and here I have opened this one so you, you have to pass here the d details like db details you can configure the db details here that let me open my database and create a new one you can create a new database here so I let's create a model 42 model 42 in the DB name so you have to change here DV name clear I have changed this one now use in my case the username is root and password is blank and this one is a prefix if you want to change but for now let it be by default so what is this one basically the, the, your table will be created like uh, MDL underscore if you change that it will be replaced Now come scroll down here and you have to set this URL www root. So which URL will come here? Your main site URL will appear here. If your domain is map, you can pass direct to one. But in my case, I using localhost. So this one will be the my URL. And you have to create a modal database so that it will store all your uh, data files model data and this path will go here so these are all settings and I have done this data root double double root and and the DB details so before moving ahead please make sure you have read write permission on this directory so model data click apply and okay 
and now come here and hit the main url again database driver problem detected okay so let me come here so it will be also asking you for the database so pg sql is not installed in my case so let me try my sqli so that is installed in my system replace again and here you see it is again taking you to the installation that means okay, whichever details you have just filled is correctly it's correct when installation is is in the progress so if you fill all the details correctly it will be redirected to page like this and here you can see the details like Moodle object oriented dynamic this click on continue and before moving ahead it will check all your uh, all the server uh, basic configuration and the server requirement so PHP extension sodium is required so that is check that is not check so before it might be useful copy the server PHP leave sodium library to this so i have already here inside my php version so that is why i displayed to the version and i can no. see here the leave sodium dot dll file so let me copy this one and it is asking me to copy inside bin apache bin then sodium leave dot dll so here i i will come here apache Apache this then bin then it is asking me to paste here you see the multiple DLL file here so let me paste here uh, folder and file open another program so, okay. so it is not allowing me to again on this my value because till a time you will not stop it I don't think it will be allowing you to so here click on this icon it's gone so let me try one more time here just copy this one and you have to copy inside pin Apache your name and here Side bin here you have to paste that file and now I am able to paste that here so that was leave sodium try pasting again that is pasted now but uh, and after pasting this one you have to restart your server so let me refresh this one again and then I have to restart my server web server so after that is step try searching here inside PHP configuration file for sodium you see yes you see the sodium extension here and you have to make it enable clear and then you need to restart your web server so let me restart so how you can get this php and i you have to come under your uh, install PHP directly and whichever version you are using inside that version you will find php.ini configuration file so now after this configuration change I have 
uh, restarted my server let me refresh this page again and check whether it is passing or not so, uh, this extends some sodium is still not passing here still you are tired of searching around the solution you have to come inside uh, leap environmental leap and you can search here for the bypass okay by default it will be this let me replace this page again so by default it will appear like this and i will make it bypass i will put here bypass and let me refresh this one and after that pass you will see most of the issue gone and now you, you can click on continue and your installation will be in process and once all your installation is done you can uh, make it to the default that means you can remove this word bypass steer from here so for now let uh, it will take some time uh, to install so let's wait for that and here you see your installation is in progress you can see system is installed successfully antivirus claim nav ability complete some all are installed successfully you also see some issue here mode LDI LDI required a valid open SSL combination so let's wait for the completion of this installation and then we'll see so now installation is all installation is done let me click on continue here and it will be sending me to the page from where i can create an admin account here you see the default admin and I will add the password here password to 0023 admin user email I will put my email address yes make it visible to everyone country I am from India time zone yes yeah then Kolkata here and I will prefer this HTML format and click on update profile again it will take some time because it is creating all the admins and it will it is asking for the site details right, let's make it model 4.2 clear site short name i want the same name and home page summary i just pasted, pasted the same three times let me update the password and here it will be asking you to support I will put my same email in all the context yes you can put your own 
and now you see here the button save changes click on it and you are done with the installation now you can see here your admin account is ready and your Moodle installation is all fine now so let's try renaming this one the changes you made that bypass your uh, environmental check and refresh this page here and log, on, log out again and try login again so i will log out and i am trying to log in again so i don't see any issue but at the time of installation you have bypassed there may be a possibility that in case that that extension will be required so the functionality around that extension will not be working so again how you can check that environmental to check that again you have to here there is url If you come to this server, you will see system path, path, session handling, maintenance mode, environment. From here, you see environment. The moment you click on it, it will show you all the details of environment. So this was the same page. It was coming during the installation with no content button. So you see, this check is still missing. So you should prefer uh, correcting this issue by installing this PSP extension sodium so in my case I have followed all my all the steps but not sure why that is not working on my local I will check that later for now that's all for now you will you can try this way installing in case you uh, you are failing to meet a, a, any environmental check so you can override here so i will paste this path link so that you can directly go to this file and you can pass here and after the installation you can just roll back to the, the normal mode thank you thank you for watching and have a great day